So because um so I said that it's fractions of an amount. So um are you okay, Monica? Yes, I'm fine. So so uh you know when you ask to find fractions of an amount, it's like you want to find a certain proportion of something. So, for example, now you didn't say what is you know half of twenty pounds. So, what you have to do basically is that what no half of it is like a certain proportion of twenty pounds. So, half of twenty pounds is ten pounds. So, what you have to do just divide by two. So, twenty pounds divided by two that gives you what ten pounds. So, if you ask to find you know what about a third. Of um, what's it called? Of forty-five pounds. That's gonna be like what? Forty-five pounds divided by two by three. That gives you what? Fifteen pounds. So you can also use the. You can also use uh, what's it called? So if they say what's the half, so that means that um, if the whole thing is twenty pounds, so half of them is good work, I see. That's gonna be 10 10. That's how to actually what find what uh fractions of an amount. This is the basic one. It gets harder. I can tell you about that. It gets you what gets harder. So I know I was something on the board initially that um when you said that uh, David gave two fifths of 40 pounds. To Paul, how much did David give Paul? Can you see? So now, when you want to work out this, it means what you know, you div you multiply by the top. And divide by the bottom. That gives you two over five of forty. So that gives you two top and top two times forty. Then you now divide it by what by five. Forty two times forty. That gives you um eighty. Then eighty divided by five that gives you sixteen. So that means that uh, uh, how much did he get for? It's going to be sixteen pounds. So that is it. So don't forget that uh, you multiply by the top and you divide by what by the bottom. So you see the top is two here. Two times forty that gives you what eighty. Eighty divided by five that gives you sixteen. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, um, um, so you want to have a go on this place. Um, you can see that, um, if I say Messi scored uh, three fifths of Ronaldo's goals last. Season. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo scored. Um, twenty five goals. How many goals did Messi score? So, you guys, what are we going that? Let me pause the. I think twenty five. So, I just caught 25 goals. It's 25 goals. So, 
the mess is called what three fifth of the goose. So it's good what three fifth of twenty five. Twenty five goes. Because... Then you add three times twenty five mm -hmm. divided 25. by five. That five. gives you seventy five divided mm -hmm. by five. That gives you what fifteen. Fifteen goes. Yes. Goals. So can you see? You multiply by the top, then you actually what divide by the bottom. So um. So that's another, you know, that just give you like questions. So questions could be different too. So for example, now you can say that um, in a class, in a class of, uh, what's it called, a class of um, 40 students. Three over five of the students are right handed. How many are left handed? And you see. In a class of like what forty students, three or five and you were right handed. And you were know, are right handed, how many are left handed? So like they could either be right handed or what left handed in the class. So now you just need to find um three fifth of uh, forty. That gives you three times forty gives you five. So that gives you twenty-four. So it's good what 24 students actually what they are right handed. So for you to find those as you were left handed to be 40 minus 24. Because you know the rest actually what left handed. So I have to put in the question self. So the rest are left handed. So 20, 40 minus 24, that gives you what 60. So that's gonna be 60. So 16 actually what left handed. So you can show what put that one down. So I think you know there's no point in putting it down because uh, the recording is going actually what is going to be available. So there's no point writing it down. We will have the recordings um, available as soon as uh, as soon as uh, I finish uh, this thing. So Okay, so now, so let's look at, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you, um, what's it called? I'm going to give you like um, questions on this. So, is it in a class? of 24 students. Half uh, half of the students are from Spain. One over three from Germany and the rest from England. Walk out How many students uh, from England? So what can I ask? 
that in a class of 24 students, half of the students are from Spain, half from one third from Germany, and the rest from um, England. So what academic students are from England? No. So in a class of uh, 24 students, one over two of the students are from Spain, one third. So one, you say, how many are from England? I didn't ask you from Spain, I said from England. So is it, so from Spain now, you go about one over two of 24, okay. that gives you 12. Yeah. From uh, Germany, you have uh, one over three of mm -hmm. 24. That gives you what? Eight. Eight. Then from England, will be what? 24. The rest is going to be the rest 24 and minus 12 and minus and 8. That gives you four. Well, so, four from England, yeah. Who got four? I. Good. Yeah, it's four from England. Who got four again in the class from England? Four from England. Uh, Nana, you got four. I think you mentioned four before. Yeah, you got four. I thought... One yeah. second. So, it's one. So, it's 12 for the first one, obviously. Now mm -hmm. the second one is a one over that. So, one, okay, yeah, I made a mistake. I did um one of uh, two of instead mm -hmm. of one of twenty four. Okay, that's fine. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that is how it is. So and um. So do I should give you and I want to try. So um. Uh, so sometimes too, you could be given like this that um, if three is a three over it could be uh, in a class two over three of the speak uh maybe just use like uh, you know all these things you want to use French uh in again in a class two thirds uh boys Two to that boys, then um, what is the fraction of the girls in the class? You see, this one is different now. The guy, you know, so they don't ask you that. Uh, you say that in the class of they say two third the class two third are boys. What's the fraction of those that are of guests in the class? So in a fraction, it's like one O. Fraction is out of uh, one O. So that means that uh, it's one. So you just put one minus two third. So when you see, when they tell you that it's one O, sometimes you know, it means what? Three out of three. So you three out of three minus two or three. That gives you what? One third. You see, that's it. So when you see one O, you get just try and know that okay, it's going to be mean what three over three because three over three, three divided by three means what one two. So that's why it's what one O. So if it's like this two, one minus three over five, it's going to be this one will be five over five. So minus three over five, that gives you what two over five. So when you say one O means what said if the numerator and denominator is the same, they're actually what the same. Numerator and denominator, they are actually what the same. So that is what you know you might get from that. So I will just like rub a few numbers off there and I will ask you to do this one. If one over six 
are boys, what's the fraction of the girls in the class? <coughs> So that gives you what? One? Five. Yes, five. Uh, that will be five over six. Yes, so it was one minus one over mm -hmm. six. That gives you, you know, it's going to be six over six minus five over five minus one over six. That gives you five over six. So, other than that, so it's just, you know, that just actually what the uh, straightforward. So, um, that what a straightforward like that. So we just you know the reason why you have to do this is because uh, this thing you must do this thing before you can before you can actually do what uh, before you can uh, before you can be able to actually do this method. So let me say that. Uh, Class. Two third. Um, but sorry, in the class. One over three are boys. So, um, what's it called? Ten boys are in the class. How many students are in the class? Is this question said in the class? One third are boys and ten boys are there. That's that in the class. I just ten boys are in the class. How many students are in the class? So if you have uh, if they say one third are in the class, that means it's going to be what? One third equals to 10, you know? You say one third are boys. That means that what? 10 are boys too. So you know, okay, one third is 10. So if you want to find how many students are in the class, you must find what? Three out of three. Okay. So if one third is 10, and you want to find three out of three, that means that, uh, what can you want to find? You know, just times by three. It's going to be what, 30. So let me explain to you what we actually did here. I'll use a circle. So I'm going to share this circle now. Can you see? Into three. Is it? One third of boys. So I will, share, I will share one third there. Can you see? I'm sharing one third there. And that one third, that one third represents what? That one third represents what? Ten. It now ask you that one third represents 10. That means that if one third is 10, this place two is going to be 10. This place two, can you see, is going to be 10. So for everything, it's going to be what? 10 in three places. That's going to be what? 30. So is that just for you? So if you say, for example, now you have a pizza and they call the pizza into what? Into four. Slices like four slices. You say, okay, one part of the slice is uh, five pounds. And I ask you that, uh, how much do you think the pizza will cost? So it's like this it's like you have a pizza like this. The here is into what? Into four slices. Uh, one side of the slice is five pounds. 
they now ask you that uh, how much do you think they're going to buy the Opita? You know, if one side is five pounds, can you see five pounds in four places? That's going to be what? 20 what? 20 pounds. Can you see? So that's how to do it using the second method. So you can, you know, just think about it. You know, it's like, um, it's not difficult. Just think about it. So looking at, uh, looking at it and you can see, so I'm going to ask you a question on it now to do. But before I ask you a question, I'm going to say, what I should have said again, I'm going to repeat myself. Is that in a class of, in a class, one third are boys, 10 boys are in the class. How many students are in the class? So if, is there one third are boys? That means that what well, ten two are the boys there. So that means that one third equals to ten. That means if you share pizza into three, one part is going to be ten. So how much you do think is going to be the whole pizza? Because there are three parts there, and one part is ten. It's going to be ten times three. That's how we got thirty. So they go to thirty in the class. So sometimes too, you might want to check your answer. Maybe your answer is correct. Just find what is one third of thirty. It's going to be ten. Can you see? You got it 10. That's it. So now I'm going to clear it out and I'm going to ask you to have a go. So uh, can but a piece uh, is sold one over four of the pizza to Daniel for twenty for six pounds. How much? Will can sell the sell or the pizza? Yeah, so you have to go on that. So, how many side you got 24? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very uh, good. So, but is that six pounds that Daniel sold it for? Is that six pound or five pound? Six. Six. Pounds, six, pounds, yeah. six. Okay. Yeah. So. Um. <coughs> so. Now let's look at uh, let's look at it together now. So, um, uh, so look at this one now. So that uh, he sold it, so we can just draw the distance there. You know, one side of it is what is six pounds, so it's going to be six pounds here too, and that's six pounds there. Then let's go with six pounds here. Too. So that's going to be twenty four pounds. Well done, guys. Well done. That's um, really, really impressed with that. Well done. Well done. That's uh, that's very good job. Well done. So, uh, so, so now, so let me. Just uh, try and give you a challenge question then. Uh, Not too hard. <laughs> Is that what? Not too hard. Okay, okay, no problem. I will not, um, uh, <laughs> I will not, I don't make it hard. So just, uh, just, you know, I won't take a challenge question, just a normal question then. Uh, So this one, 
Bill. Bill is 80 years old. His son, Max, is five over eight of his age. His, his granddaughter, I'm just, I'm just put that one there. His granddaughter, Jane, is one over five of his age. How many years older than Jane? Is Max. Can you see how many other than Jane is Max? So you can have a go on that. Have a go. This is the final one. That's so, so um, Max is the final that. The bill is 80. Yes, so his son is five over eight of his age. So you find five by eight of eighty. Yes. So five over eight of eighty is what? It's ten. Fifty. Mm -hmm. It's not fifty. So that means his son is what? Is fifty years. His daughter, his granddaughter, is one over five of his age. Yeah, yeah, it's what that's good words. One over five is what? Sixteen. How old? How old? How many years older uh, than Jane is Max? So you do what? Fifty minus sixteen. Yeah. That gives you what? Thirty-four. Who got thirty-four? Me. Oh, that's good. So. That's what um, you yeah. actually what I meant to do. Is <laughs> so, why are you laughing? Uh, sorry, um, Nana, you said 10. Can you just talk me through how you got 10, please? But I don't know why I don't understand why you got 16 over here. That I got missed over there, but the first that 50 is, granddaughter is one over five of his age. What oh. is one over five of 80? All right, okay, okay, okay. 18, okay. Yes. 18 divided by 5 is 16. Then, um, you know, so how many years older? So 50 minus 16, you get what? 34 on that. Yeah, I got that, yeah. Yes. So, all right. Um, that is that for for this class. You no, know? I sure what, um, really appreciate uh, all of you five should join in because this is available as usual. Um, if there's any communication, it's going to be on WhatsApp or through email by Jill. So, um, 